Hey everyone, how's it going today? Let's jump right into it. Let's go in our Pixel Game Maker tutorial. We are going to talk about player colliders today. So let's jump in the animations tab. Let's click on idle and let's click the down direct let's yeah, the down direction. And let's just look at the player. You see we have these boxes and you can minimize one and there's another box right under it. So these boxes are represented by these keyframes right here. So one is the wall detection, it's the green one, and then the purple one is the collider. So that green one is the wall detection, and then the, the purple one is the collider. So let's see, if you select the wall detection, then you can see the the collision after. So the wall detection is going to be what prevents you from walking on tiles and such that are that will not allow the player to walk. The, the purple collision detection is for when enemies attack you. And then attack detection, which there is not one set yet, and there won't be until we start adding in the attack, because you'll start putting in a collider where the sword is. But anyway, that is for the this player's attack detection. So th this player's attack detection will collide with an enemy's collision detection and provide damage, if that makes it easier to understand. The connection point, I really do not know, but from what I've gathered from like Q&A or uh, questions that people have been asking, it has to do with like where animations can show up or a another object that stays next to the player, you can put those on connection points. So I, they have their uses, I'm sure. I I need I would like to learn more about that. So let's get started. Let's on the down. We're gonna have to delete the left and up. So just click and then shift click up and delete them because we have to set the coll the collider first. So let's click on the wall detection first. The wall detection you want about the waist. This is true in in about most engines. Sometimes you have to do a little bit of clicking. Uh, yeah, see this is something that makes this a little harder. <laughs> so there we go. There we go. Oh, I guess I had one more pixel right there. All right. And now for the collision, it's usually generally the area of the body and you usually don't give them any less and really not any more. You're usually more generous. So we can go like that. And now you can just take that downward and we'll just, we'll have to redo what we did. We'll copy and paste, paste, paste. We'll make a left, set the frame to the left idle. We'll make a right, set the frame to the right idle. We'll make an up, we'll set the frame to the up idle. And now you will see that all of these have the same collision. So now we need to do that to the walking. Let's do the down. And you can see right here, like right here, you could go to this keyframe and you could delete. You could add a blank keyframe and it would take off your wall collision. So there's animations that you can make it to where there is no wall collision during that animation. So animations, if if you're coming from RM, it's kind of a way to do through where the object can go through another event. It's kind of a way to do uh, different things than just a script or change movement route kind of a thing. I guess you do change through in movement route. So you could think of animations as a, a sort of movement route option for you. So let's control Z that and let's make the actual wall collider on him for here. Let's go something like this. Yeah, something like that. And then let's grab the collision 
Let's try to make it roughly the same because I mean it is the same sprite. I think it was something like that. Let's look at our idle. Yeah, so actually our wall detection was just, just a little bit bigger. And our, this detection was, oops. This detection was just a little bigger as well. Okay. You were also up, and honestly, it is important that your collisions do match somewhat. Because you'll notice that sometimes when you change directions or something, you'll have a little glitch if your collisions are changing constantly. So by that little pixel, if we bumped into a wall, we could have had a little glitch. Not a glitch, but it's just like your player bumped back real quick because your collider actually expanded, if that makes any sense. So we got that for the down. Now let's uh, delete these and then copy VVV left. And we want the first frame, oh, we gotta make sure we change this first, left. And we want it to be that. Then we want it to be idle. Then we want it to be the other one. Then we want it to go back to idle. That's how we set it up right here, yep. Now we wanna do right. And we want the first frame to be the movement, second frame to be the going back to normal, second movement, going back to normal. And then up. Did I change right? Yeah, I did. And we want this one to be movement, going back to normal, movement, going back to normal. And so now we can see all our colliders are the same throughout each animation, throughout our idle, everything. And so this is just a basic rundown of wall detection and collision. And we will hopefully start using that with some tiles and maybe an object or two like a tree or something, or maybe the house on the next video.